is going on guys, Mad Giz Mobile back with another Mad Mobile video, and today we are doing another 1 million coin pro pack opening. I'm going to hop into these right here so we don't waste any time, but then I'll start to talk about some of the crazy stuff out today, and uh, other live events and everything. So, let's get started. Now, uh, it's super early where I am right now. Ooh, that's a good start. It's super early where I am right now. The Boss Legends just dropped. It's like 6 in the morning. I'm super tired, but I wanted to see if opening up early and opening these packs earlier had any effect on the luck we could have pulling these players. And uh, it might sound a little crazy, but you know, it's just an experiment I wanted to do. Also, because the boss legends out this weekend are absolutely crazy, we have 99 Gilbert Brown and 99 Germani Dawson, who both have a couple stats above 100. And these stats are absolutely monstrous. Um, Gilbert Brown's got like 102 block shed and like 100 play rack. It's absolutely crazy. And then I think Germani Dawson has 100 impact block as well as 100 pass block and then like 98 run block. So pulling either of those guys would be absolutely insane. Uh, I, I do believe Easter Legends, Easter Crystal Legends are still in packs. So uh, those guys would be sweet to pull too. Uh, if you guys haven't looked in the events tab under your sets, not sets, when you pull open the thing and go into the events tab, uh, I just looked this morning and there are two new all rookie sets that came out. I don't know how these are going to work, but the description of the sets is the first one is a collectible trade in and it says uh, gain these collectibles by playing the all rookie events on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I believe that those will come out next week, and then we can do those. And the two big sets that we're looking to complete is there's a 99 Marshall Falk, who has uh, 101 elusiveness and 101 ball carrier vision. And there's also 101 Brian, or not 101, there's also a 99 Brian Dawkins. So those are some crazy um, sets to complete right there. I, I really didn't think we were going to get all rookie cards after uh, console was getting so many of them. But it looks like they decided to throw us some 99s just to uh, spice it up a little bit. So I thought that was nice. Uh, moving along here, we haven't pulled an Elite yet. Can we turn some luck around? There's a Campus Hero. Uh, what I'm really looking to do is just get some luck here. Some nice Elites would be cool. I really need some coins back on this one because this is going to take me all the way down to zero. <laughs> um, I do not quite honestly think that I'm going to be able to rival the luck from my ultimate 1 million pro pack opening. I did the first one. I'll be sure to leave a link to that one in the description because I don't know that I'm going to be able to ever pull players better than that out of pro packs, but you know, never hurts to see. Uh, we're getting down to about one quarter of the way through. Yep. Almost one quarter of the way through here. Nothing crazy yet. But as I mentioned, this is I'm doing this super early uh, for a Saturday morning. Actually, for a week, weekday morning, I'm usually not even up this early. So uh, this is I'm pretty tired right now. <laughs> but uh, the, when I looked on the auction house, there was one Dermani Dawson up and no Gilbert Browns up. So uh, either people aren't putting them up on the auction house, or very many haven't been pulled yet. So we're gonna have to see which one is the case here as we roll through and see if we can't pull one for ourselves. Um, gosh, what else to talk about? Final Four is today. Um, I had Oklahoma going to the championship game. I initially, the first time I picked my bracket, I had them winning the game. And then I changed it to Kentucky, which, as you know, many, as, as many of you know, that didn't turn out so hot. They lost to Indy and then round of 32. Uh, not too happy about that, but Villanova surprised me. I really, quite honestly, thought they weren't going to get past Iowa. That's what I had assumed. And then the fact that they beat Kansas, too, just was surprising. Um, uh, who else is there? North Carolina is not too big of a shocker. <clears throat> They're a 
pretty high overall one seed, so that's that's not too hard to believe. But then you have Syracuse, and uh, I have no idea what happened with them. <laughs> well, I think we just pulled a Zoltan Mesco in that one. But, like, I don't know where Syracuse came from because they were on the bubble and they barely even got into the tournament at all. So to go from that to being in the Final Four is a very big surprise. I feel like the committee knew something that we didn't. And uh, while we were all in a fuss about, oh my God, how did Syracuse make it into the tournament? They were just like, well, you know, you just watch and see. <laughs> now I am kind of doubting if the Easter Crystal Legends are actually in these packs still because we haven't pulled a single Easter item yet, which would suck, but I mean, I would probably still take the Boss Legends over that if we can manage to pull one of those. Uh, I am going to call this Road to a Boss Legend even though it's 1 million coins, uh, which is quite a hefty number of coins if you think about it. I did that, what was it called, Easter Legend opening last night in hopes of making coins, and I'll just share this with you guys. It, The cost I had to spend on one of the Easter Legend packs was less than the profit I got from selling the two players I pulled. That's how crazy expensive those packs are. So I was hoping to make some profit to take me over a million a little bit for this opening. And I actually lost money on it, which really sucked. But, you know, I like to bring you guys what you want to see. So it'll be all right. Now we're getting down to about halfway here. I don't think we've pulled a single elite player yet which is absolutely absurd. So, I'm really hoping we can turn our luck around here. Oh my god, what's going on? Show me something, EA. There we go, Patrick Chung, 89 safety. A very nice card. Well, I mean, it's a decent card at least. Not quite as decent as 99 Boss Legends, but still decent. We're going to keep rolling along right here all the way until we hit zero because I had almost exactly a million coins when we started and uh, see if we can't pull anything crazy. I don't know. I'd really like to know what the odds on these boss legend cards are because it seems like the drop rates are just almost zero, <laughs> which I mean, I guess it would make sense because those are those are super rare cards. EA doesn't really want like a ton of people pulling them. But uh, with the amount of coins I invest in pro packs every weekend, I'd like to see one pop up one time. <laughs> so uh, what legend do we have so far? We had Michael Vick and Terrell Sugg the first week. I still wish I could have gotten that boss Vick, or even bought him at least. But I was like really short on coins the week he came out. Or the, just even the ultimate legend Vick. I, I wanted either of those cards. And now they're both super expensive, which is really unfortunate, but... I guess that's how it just that's just how it happens sometimes. Alright, Zach Mettenberger. Come on. We're the boss legends. The ones last weekend confused me a little bit. Uh, and not even so much confused as I was kind of disappointed in the Gronk and Antonio Camardi. Because I know console doesn't have a Gronk card, so that uh, those two cards coming out was super hype for them, but we're sitting here with a 99 Domination Gronkowski and we're just like, no, we don't need this card. <laughs> and uh, they finally came back this week with the Gilbert Brown and the Germani Dawson and we're like, alright, we'll give you some absolutely crazy cards to make up for it. So that was nice. Uh, probably not going to pull one, but still good that they put them out there. I shouldn't say that. We're, we're definitely going to pull one in these. We're absolutely going to do it. No doubt. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. We're putting in a million coins. This is not looking so hot so far. But we just need we just need that one pull that'll put us over. Make us our money back. Then we can call it a day. Well, not really call it a day. We'll, we'll finish the pack opening. <laughs> We just need that one pull, though, that'll give us our money back, and that would be really nice. How on earth have we only pulled one Elite through 700,000 coins pro packs? This is insanity. It can't, my luck can't be that bad. 
and most of these golds have been 75 overalls. What is this? Philly Brown, okay, well, it's not a 75. All right, speaking of 75, we're about 75% way through this opening. Oh, there's a Dante Poncrief, that's pretty cool. Goes into the Justin Houston set. That one should be a little more expensive because it's in the 90s. Uh, we'll have to see about that. I don't think it's going to be a million coins expensive, unfortunately, but nonetheless, still a nice card to pull. And there's Gabe Jackson from my Budget Bees video. Uh, you guys let me know if you'd like to see a full Elite version of that in the future. I'm thinking about making that. So uh, let me know down in the comment section if that's something you'd like to see. Or other things you'd like to see uh, me do could be certain pack openings, all that kind of stuff. Maybe gameplay of something or uh, tips and advice on something in particular. I did a tips on how to snipe video a while back. Um, that one seems to be pretty popular, so if you guys want me to tell you more about that or reiterate something, then be sure to ask. Ooh, Giovanni Bernard. We're just going to finish out this set. I'll go look over there at the end who the other players are and uh, see what we can do with that one. But those are those are pretty too, if we're going to pull only like three elites in this pack opening, those two are pretty good elites to pull simply because they're the upper end of the final edition set and those are always more expensive. I don't, I think they're still a 93 or a 94. Oh, well, there's a Donovan McNabb position collectible. They tried to give me something good. It didn't work, but they tried. <laughs> um, I still think there's a 93 or 94 that's at the total top end of that spectrum of the set. So if we don't pull that one, then it's still gonna be pretty expensive to complete. But still, giving us the two that are, two of the, the five that are above 90, which is, you know, can't ask for much more than that unless you're me, and then you ask for a boss legend out of these last couple pro packs. Oh my god, I don't know that my luck has been this bad in a long time. Alright, getting down to 100k almost. What can we do to turn this luck around? What can we do? Okay, I'm gonna close the app. Close it, we're gonna go back in. Oh my god, this is neat. This needs to turn around our luck. Something's got to change, because going 900,000 coins worth of pro packs and pulling like what three elites, maybe four. That's not gonna cut it at all. And as you can see, their legendary packs are out today. Uh, they got the one bundle with I think it's 10 packs and then the bundle topper once again has a chance at boss legends not boss legends ultimate legends with a chance at ultimate legends so that one's pretty cool I don't feel like the odds are pulling it out of those are too high I did pull an ultimate legend out of the ultimate legends bundle but I feel like those regular legendary bundles uh, don't have as good of a chance for some reason I don't know why but that's just my feeling on the on the matter. Oh god, we're almost down to 50k. This is this is I don't like this. Can we pull anything? Can we pull anything worth my time and my million coins, please? There's a 75 gold, that's just fabulous. That's exactly what I wanted. And an 81 gold, that is too. I'm gonna open the last couple of these just with my hand over it. Just look for an update team, which I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be, but you can always look. Down to 18K, oh God, last two pro packs. Come on. Okay, try to open this one with my nose. Nose, nose pro pack, open. Open, open, open. Okay, it opened. Come on. Oh man, Devonny Dawson, Gilbert Brown, where are you? Show me yourselves. Uh, I know you want to. I know you want to. No. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. 
the, the, the <sighs> one million coins of pro packs. We got one Giovanni Bernard, one Dante Moncrief, and one Patrick Chung. That's it. Also, like, 100,000 gold players. Oh, that is so bad. That's <laughs> just, this is probably the worst pack luck I have ever had opening any packs. So, hope you got a good laugh out of that, because, uh, probably not going to get any worse than three elites out of a million coins with the pro packs. Uh, I don't know what else to say besides that. I'll go ahead and see if anybody has posted a Gilbert Brown yet. Unfortunately, they have not. Oh, man. Jermani Dawson. They're still one up. He's got 100 run block, 100 impact block, and 98 pass block. Crazy stats overall. I'd still like to see that uh, Gilbert Brown card because his stats are insanity. But it looks like our luck is going to be the worst luck I've ever had in packs before. If you have stuck all the way through until the end right here, I thank you very much for watching. Um, be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. I don't, my pack look was so bad that I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. But maybe you got a good laugh out of this. Watch all of my terrible pack luck spill over into my commentary. And watch me get frustrated, but you know, that could be funny, I guess. But as always, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more Mad Mobile content, check out the links in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next video.